Hai lah Tiga 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 Hai lah Tiga 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 You keep sticking your tongue out Where's that tongue doing now? Hi everyone Welcome back to my channel Today Jackson is five months old Are you? It's getting so so big. Yeah, I can't believe he's five months already. I do not know where that time has gone. I know I always say it, but it's just going so quickly. Um, he's still such a happy little guy. He's such a good boy. He's so portable. So in the past month, you may have seen on my channel, Jackson had his very first ever holiday or vacation if you're in the US. Um, so yeah, we went off to the Dominican Republic and it was so nice to have some time as a family and some sunshine. And he was so good. He was so adaptable. Adaptable. On the flight, he was a little dream. Really, really easy. I took my baby sling and my baby carrier on the plane with me, which was like a godsend. He just slept in that for some of the flight. Then when we got there, he had a little bit of jet lag, but he was so adaptable. He adapted to it far quicker than my older children did. While we were on holiday as well, Jackson rolled over for the first time, and now he can roll from front to back and from back to front. So he's rolling both ways, and he is pretty mobile now. If I let him down on a play mat or on a blanket somewhere and turn away for a minute and then I turn back he is in a completely different position on a completely different way in the middle of the night now if I hear him crying and I go into his room although he normally sleeps on his front he will be on his back and be like ready to be picked up so he's moving around loads he still loves standing up Wow okay yeah <laughs> Oi! <laughs> you love that dragon, don't you? Um, yeah, since we've come back from holiday, we have had a few tricky nights. Getting back into our routine hasn't been easy, and I think he's got a little bit of a sleep association with me. And also, when we're on holiday, he actually preferred to sleep in the carry cot of the buggy than the huge cot that they gave us. The cot they gave us was like a single bed. So I don't think he was very cozy in it. So we slept him in his buggy quite a lot and I think it's all kind of changed. So I'm trying to get him back into the swing of things, but I do find when you take babies on holiday, um, their sleep kind of gets a bit messed up. So unfortunately that has happened and we're trying to deal with that at the moment. So his perfect routine is kind of gone a little bit out of the window at the moment, <laughs> but I'm working to bring it back. Similarly to my last update, Jackson has still been teething for the whole past month. There are no teeth yet, but things must be moving around. I can feel them under the gums if I really press on his gums. Um, so he has been teething. He's literally sticking everything into his mouth. He loves the Sophie the giraffe. He loves the toys like this, like the Lamar's toys. But literally anything, he's chewing on muslins and like almost like ripping them out. Like that must give him some relief from the itching. Um, so yeah, he's loving all of that. But he, he's definitely teething. And we had a couple of nights where I did have to give him cowpaw from like a bit of a fever. And he's still using liquid ambisol. And teetha as well does calm him down. So I'm expecting teeth any minute because of all this teething. I can still just about squeeze him into his three to six month clothes, but he is wearing six to nine month clothes the majority of the time, especially vests and baby grows. He is really, really long. He loves his jumper so much as well. My mother-in-law actually got another little like activity center and we have put that upstairs and it's actually been really good so that when I'm getting dressed in the morning, he can stand in that and like look around because laying on the bed really is not doing it for him anymore. He still quite enjoys tummy time, but I must admit his favorite thing is the jumper -roo at the moment. Uh, he's a really strong little guy as well. He is nearly sitting up. He can sit for a good few seconds before he falls over. And I have got this like inflatable ring out of the loft that used to be the other boy's toy as well. It's really, really bright. I got it on Amazon like years ago, but it's a really, really good one because he can sit up and look around in it. And there's also things that you can grab on it. He can practice sitting up, but if he falls anyway, it doesn't matter because obviously it's cushioned. So I think he will be sitting up in like the next month or so. Also with the teething, he's blowing bubbles all of the time and he is still babbling all of the time. He loves to have a good old chat. In the past month as well, Jackson had his 16 week injections and they were so horrible because he had to have three injections, two in one leg, one in the other, 
and because he's so strong now he was like gripping onto me and like trying to move his legs and pull away so it was a really really horrible experience um but he is completely done now for injections until he is one so i'm really glad that is all out of the way still absolutely adores his brothers and they play with him all of the time they give him loads of attention he's so lucky that he has these like people to entertain him all of the time he still comes everywhere with me we are attached at the hip and it doesn't really matter what i'm doing if i'm working or i'm having my nails done or I'm meeting someone for a coffee jackson is with me he is like my little shadow and i never really leave him i have had a few nights out with the girls because he normally feeds at seven and then not again until 3 a.m i have been able to like go out for dinner and things like that um but we've never tried a bottle with him so i can't really go too far and we're, we're pretty much joined at the hip and like if, if i'm not with him i feel like <gasps> where is he i really expected to be updating you on how weaning is going as well and how he's doing with solid food but we have not given him any solid food yet and he's five months old now i did actually end up weaning the other boys at four months or four and a half months but I just haven't done Jackson yet. I've been holding off and he's been doing quite well with just milk. Um, and I recently went on a weaning workshop and at that weaning workshop, it was saying about a baby's gut and how it's not completely mature until they're six months old and how if you do feed them solids before six months, it could cause allergies and things like that. And that's just really scared me a bit because um, my eldest does have an allergy to something and um, and now I'm thinking, oh God, is it because I weaned him early or I don't know, but he's not having too many extra milk feeds. So it hasn't been too difficult, but I think I am gonna start weaning him in a couple of weeks. He is staring at our food. He is grabbing things off of the plate. He is so interested and keen and he sits up quite well. So I do think he is ready. Um, I've just been holding off for whatever reason. Um, and also nowadays they say to just give them veg for two whole weeks so that they don't get like a sweet tooth. Um, so I'm gonna try and, and give as much veg as I can for, for two whole weeks. Um, but I still think as soon as they eat like fruit or a banana, they're obviously gonna know that that is really, really sweet and they're gonna want that all the time. But I'm gonna try my hardest to just do veg and all of that. And I think I might go a bit more down the baby led route this time, just because um, I have done all the pureeing and freezing and all of that in the past. But because I have the older boys, I think if it's baby led, it might be a lot easier. If I'm making everyone a meal, I'll just put some of the meal on his chair as well and he can just help himself to it and try that way. So I think that way will be a lot messier, but I've heard really good things about it. I'm gonna do loads of weaning videos and I will obviously keep you all updated. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you next month for his six month update.